In this video, we will learn how to initialize NumPy arrays. So you can initialize NumPy arrays using the NumPy dot zeros method. This will allow you to initialize the arrays with zeros. Okay, so we will see two examples and initialize NumPy arrays. These two examples will have different dimensions and will get initialized by zero using the numpy dot zeros method. So every element in the array will be having element zero. Let's see two examples. So here we have our PyCharm ID. We created a new project and gave it a name. Let us create two files. Right click new Python file. I am naming it demo one. I'll press enter and it will add a dot py extension because Python file is by default selected. Here it is. Now we'll create second file demo2.py. So now we will easily initialize numpy array with zeros. For that, first we'll be importing our library, import numpy and creating an alias np. Now create an array object n and use numpy that is the alias np dot the zeros method to initialize an array with zeros. Let's say we have two elements. Now I'll print it. This is how you can print using the print method and uh, I'll also print a type let's say. Okay, so I'll just I'll just go to file and click save all right click run demo one. So here it is, we have initialized our array with zeros, two rows, three column array. Okay. Two rows and three columns and, and we initialized it with zero. So this was a multi-dimensional array that is a two dimensional array in the form of a matrix. Now let me go to the second example and uh, I'll initialize first I'll uh, import and add an alias also. Now I'll see another example using numpy dot zeros and I'll be I'll be initializing elements with zero for a four by four array. Four rows and four columns. Let me print it and a type also. That's it. We have printed it and this is zero. File save all, right click and run demo two. Here it is. We created a four dimensional four by four array and we printed it. We initialized every element with zero and we also printed a type that is the ND array, the N dimensional array. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily initialize NumPy arrays. Thank you for watching the video.